So this video is a Target slash Ulta haul. While Ulta has been closed, I did some shopping during the 21 Days of Beauty, which I've actually already showed you a few things. And then I, I did one more order in there. And then I also just went shopping at Target one day for groceries. And of course I have to check out the makeup aisle. And I don't get down to Target because there's not one in my town. And so I don't go there very often. So I did pick up quite a few things that I wanted to tell you about and um, tell you how I feel about them and whether or not I'm liking them. So this is a review slash haul. And I wanna get right into it because it's gonna be a while. But if you're new to my channel, I invite you to please subscribe if you enjoy the content, I would love for you to be here with us. And please, everybody, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that really does help out so very much. So let's get into this Target slash Ulta haul slash impressions video slash. Okay, so let's start off with Ulta and what I did get. One of you subscribers told me that this Clinique powder, and I think I got mine in Transparent Neutral, and you told me that this was the best powder that you'd ever used, and so I've been testing it out. Um, I have a really hard time with loose powders, but this is a nice one. It feels nice and buttery between the fingers. It doesn't feel so powdery that it's very dry, and I've been using it and liking it very much. Um, it's a huge thing of it. I wish I could have gotten a mini size. Ulta also had on sale this buxom lip gloss and look how purple that looks in the thing you guys but when I got it and I put it on my hand it was it's kind of just a soft wash of color like all the buxom glosses are so I'm so glad I got it I like the purple color in it. it is a little bit too on the gray side but I can lighten that up with a lipstick and then put this over top and it's going to be just perfect so I did like that and then Milani has their new Ludacris lip glosses. And this one is, I think, Charm. Anyway, this one is pretty. It's a lot more opaque than the other one, but it is a prettier color. It's more on the plummy side instead of that grayish purple. So that one is really pretty, and I like that one. Glad I got it. And then I also got from Ulta this new palette from ColourPop, and this is called All Things Equinox. And you guys, this is what I have on today. And it made the prettiest, soft, mauve look, and I am so pleased with it. This has a lot of neutral tones in it, but it also has a lot of cool tones in it, and I'm really pleased and happy with it. Um, I did use this color right here on my lid. This is the transition color this color over here as the deepening color and this color right here a little bit on the just to blend everything out a little bit so i'm enjoying this one very much and that one is also at ulta and then the last thing from ulta is from bh cosmetics and this is their concealer that they have but look you guys it's white so if i have any concealers that are way too dark for me this is gonna be able to go on and it's gonna brighten them up and it's got a good consistency but look how wow i mean Honestly, I probably won't be mixing it too much. I mean, I just have to use a teeny tiny bit to get any color to lighten up like in the winter when my um, concealers are a little bit too dark. But that would be such a good color to use over your lid as an eyeshadow primer, right? That would just be so good to use. And then two lip liners from Ulta. Um, one is from Essence, and this is their soft contouring um, lip liner. And I can't tell what that one is, what color that is, <laughs> what it says. I'll make sure I put it up on the screen. I like these because they are a little bit more stiff and they give you just a little bit more lasting time on those. So that is the color of that one right there. And then this one is from uh, Essence as well. This is their eight hour one. And this one I really love. It's just been a beautiful color to use on my lips and to actually use the two together and paint this one in the middle and use this one as a liner that actually gives a little bit more of a contour. So these both have been really good together. And then from Milani, this is one of their baked highlighters in Dolce Perla. I can't remember whether I had this one or not. I think I did, but Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Touch, she's raved about this so much that I went and I got another one. I think I passed my other one on to my daughter because she fell in love with it. But yeah, it's a pretty, it's a really pretty um, highlighter. I really have been enjoying it. It's really pretty on the skin. It's very, very beaming highlight, but you can actually share it out and have it not be quite so beaming. Um, so yeah, I've been enjoying it. It's got a nice texture on it. It's very soft. Um, it's a little bit more on the powdery side. So I would say that you really need to make sure that you haven't already powdered on 
underneath your blush. I don't do that anyway, but just something to think of. Beautiful over cream blushes, really sticks well and plays well over cream blushes. So really have been enjoying that one as well. And then I got the new Becca Ignite Liquid Lights. This is for body and um, face, whatever you wanna use it on. Okay, first of all, I think this is called Acceptance. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's called Acceptance. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my hand. And you guys, it has a beautiful sheen to it, um, but it has such a strong fragrance I did put this on my hand yesterday and used it just to see what it was all about. It sinks in really beautifully. It doesn't leave a lot of texture. As you can see on my hand right there, it's a, huge, a high, high glow. It's very beaming. It's very ethereal on it. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. You would need such a tiny bit to go on your face. But you guys, this has such a strong, strong fragrance. And I don't mind fragrances usually, especially in my body products. I'm not crazy about putting them on my face, but this fragrance is so strong. It's not a bad fragrance. It's not a bad fragrance at all. It's quite pretty and it does stay with you all day long. But the thing is, is that if you are even the slightest bit sensitive by the end of the day, even though this was just on my hand, it gave me a headache. And I never, ever get headaches from any sort of fragrances. So even though it's beautiful, I love the packaging. I was so excited about it just to wear it in the summer when you're wearing an off the shoulder, you know, sort of top where you can just kind of, you know, dust it into your shoulders, your collarbone, whatever. I'm not gonna be able to wear it. It's, it's gonna have to go back because it just has a super strong perfumey fragrance. And it just, it really just overwhelmed me until I finally went and washed it off. And even when I went and washed it off, it was still there. So that was kind of a disappointment. And then very quickly, I wanna tell you, this actually got sent to me. This is from Good Molecules. This is their new rose hip seed oil. And you guys, and rose hip seed oil is such a good antioxidant for us. It is such a good protector and barrier on our skin. And not only that, but the oil really hydrates really well. So let's say you have a foundation that is really too matte for you. Kind of the foundation I have on right now is kind of like that. You could mix one single drop in this of this in your foundation and it goes so well and it makes it spread so evenly and so pretty across your skin. And that foundation is gonna stay hydrated without being oily. And that's what the, this really does. But I like to mix it in with my morning moisture if I'm feeling very, very dry, or at night, I like to mix it in with my moisturizer then too. Either way, you're gonna get that great antioxidant protection and it's a beautiful moisturizer as well. And I actually love all the oils that I have from them and that I've been trying. So, been in love with good molecules. I bought a lot myself, but they did send me this one. So I do thank them for that and I'm really liking it. Okay, let's go on to Target. I got a lot of things from Target when I was in there. I was just like, yes, yes, yes. I don't know if I was just starved for retail makeup therapy or what, but the, the Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal, I got this one and I think this one is in the lightest one, I'm not sure. I just really think this is so pretty, you guys. I have been using it in with foundations, I've been using it under foundations, I've been using it on the back of my hands, I've been using it across my cheeks as a natural highlighter. Um, you know, mix it in with whatever you want to. You can mix it in with the lotion and it could go all over your body, it's just really nice. And it dries down really nice too, so it's a really pretty one. One. And then I wanted to get a primer that was a mattifying primer because as I go into summer, I have a lot of breakthrough right around my nose and right there on that crease in my chin. So I got this one heck of a block from Soap and Glory. I was actually surprised to see Soap and Glory because I thought that they were taking all of their makeup and doing away with it because yes, the wonderful foundation that I put as my number one foundation at the drugstore is no longer available. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on with them. But anyway, I love this. It's a really good mattifying primer. I do use another primer also, which I actually got another primer in my BoxyCharm, which I'll just tell you about. I wasn't planning on telling you about it, but this is the Professional um, Hydrating Pore Refining Primer from Benefit. Love this stuff, you guys. It's really good. <laughs> I really do like it. It is what I have underneath my makeup today. I don't feel like it dries me out. I don't feel like it has that super slick feeling when you put it on, like, you know, you have a dimethicone one that's just dimethicone and it like slides across. I really feel like this is more along the lines of a liquid form of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. 
but I like both of them, but I, I think I like the e.l.f. a little bit better, but I do like this. If you've been wondering about it, if you find it on sale, if you like Benefit, it's one that I can say, yes, it's really good under makeup. Yes, I've really been enjoying it. And I think that it really gives you a beautiful canvas. So just my thoughts on that one. From LA Girl, I got this. This is their lip primer. This is going back. It's just a very waxy lip product. So I'm not pleased with it. I don't feel like it really did anything. It didn't help my lips from bleeding outside the lines. That is more about what I use as a lip product and it's also about more what I use as a lip liner and a primer, blah, 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 as far as my skin. So this is going back. I was not impressed with it. So yeah, just kind of wanted to show you guys that. And, and then I also found, this is make from Makeup Obsession. This is called the Let's Glow Liquid Highlighter. And at first, when I first put this on, I was like, whoa, that's so pretty. And it really truly is as you're working with it and as you're, you know, trying to spread it out across your cheeks, it doesn't feel like it's gonna, you know, make a mess or anything. You can just put it on there, dab it on there. It makes a pretty, pretty glow on your skin. But you guys, as it wears throughout the day, all that's left is sparkle on your skin. And that was not the look I was going for. I just wanted something that was more of a liquid kind of shine than being any sparkles and this has too much sparkle in it for me. So that one's actually going back. I got two cream blushes, one from Milani. This is the Cheek Kiss and this is in Rose Romance. I've really been enjoying that. It's very pretty. It has a very nude kind of um, peachy pink look to it when you buff it out on your skin. It's just got this really beautiful quality to it. It doesn't have to be that bright, you guys. It will buff out. It will just go to a very soft wash if you want it to. So I really have been liking that. A tiny, tiny bit goes a long way. However, I did get the Physicians Formula, and I think this is their Organic Wear one, and this is the Dewy Blush. This one is just the opposite. It doesn't have a very much pigment to it, and so it washes out very easily. You can see how it just, there's hardly anything there, which is okay. You can build it up, but... If you get too much on there, you're gonna have just kind of a little bit of a mess. So I really have liked the color on this one and I don't mind um, that it doesn't build quite so fast because I am a little bit lighter, but I, was, I would say pick a darker color if you're deeper skinned. So definitely pretty, but like that right there, I probably wouldn't wear it like that. I would still have to buff it out. And then I would have to go in probably with a second coat or a powder on top of it. So out of the two, I'm really liking the Milani one, very pigmented and easy to blend. And then the Physicians Formula, I guess that has a place as far as if you're just wearing a very, very soft look of the day and you just want a tiny, tiny bit of um, blush across your cheeks and you want it to be a cream. That one doesn't dry down as fast, even as I'm looking at it and I'm, you know, kind of running my fingers over it. This one has already dried down the Milani and it's already set and it's already beautiful on the skin. Whereas the Physicians Formula is just a little bit too liquidy. So I'm gonna continue to work with it, but for right now, it's kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna really like it. And then I picked this up again. This is from um, Rimmel and I had forgotten about this. I love this concealer. This is the Lasting Finish Breathable Conceita, Concealer, Conceita, Concealer. I love this, and it really does cover really well. I'm gonna be doing a battle of the drugstore concealers very soon, so you guys can see. But this one does a really good job. I'm not crazy about its delivery system because as you can see already in the tube, I've only had it about a week and a half already inside that cap. It's just a nasty mess, but it does conceal really well. It doesn't, you know, um, show up my texture or my creases under here any more than any other high-end concealer that I've ever used. So I like that. And then the number seven, this one is the Lift and Luminate Serum Concealer. And I had heard a few people say that they really weren't pleased with this. But I am, you guys. I like this because it is a thinner formula. And again, I don't feel like it settles too much. I do feel like it sets down on its own, which I like very much. Um, and I felt like it was a really good color for me. It's in light, I think. Light cool. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to look it up for you guys. Anyway, I felt like it was a really pretty one. I felt like if I just let it sit there for a few minutes and then worked with it, it really covered well. A lot of people were saying that they didn't feel like it covered well, like it was more along the lines of something that you would just use on your face to spot conceal, but I liked it for my under eyes. And maybe that's because I'm so dry and I like things that set down so that I don't have to use a lot of powder and it get to looking really dry underneath there. So yeah, as far as I can tell so far,
far so good with that one. And then I'm most excited about these last two products, and that is these two brushes that I got from Sonia Kashuk while I was there. And I was excited about getting this fan brush because I've been using it for my contour. It's got the duo fibers very, very thin up here, but you have the fibers down here, or the bristles down here that are thicker. And I've been using it for my contour all over the place. And I actually did use this in a video very recently. And I love this for buffing out because it doesn't lay down too much product all at once and you can buff it. And if you need a little bit more, you just put a little bit more pressure and then you're getting whatever is down there in the, the fibers that are a little bit thicker. I am a huge fan of any sort of a duo fiber brush and this one wasn't very expensive and I love it for contouring. I would probably use this for highlight as well or even blush, whatever but this is really great for the contour and what I've been doing with my contour lately and I just couldn't wait to share that with you. And then this one is also another one. This is the duo contour one. So again, it has the duo fibers up here and it is in, at an angle. This one is way too thick for a contour for me. I mean, you'd have to have a big face <laughs> to use that in there as contour because I go in with my contour pretty, you know, pretty light-handed and pretty, you know, in a thinner line to be able to carve out the look of a cheekbone or you know the high forehead so I've been using this for blush and I have used it a couple times for cream blush not crazy what it does about with cream blush but as far as other blush it does the job so good and it goes on so pretty so really have been enjoying that one for blush it reminded me very much of my very favorite br brush for blush from it cosmetics so yeah really liking that one and loving what it's been doing. So that is it for this haul today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked having the little reviews alongside of what I purchased. I do like to give you those. That's why I don't bring a haul just right out of the bag and do first impressions normally. I like to be able to see whether or not they're gonna be good products for you guys and let you know whether or not they're ones that I'm gonna keep or send back. Please know that I am not pushing anybody to purchase anything. I'm just showing these to you and letting you know what I think about them as they're things that I pick up and test out for you guys because this is my job. But I wanna make sure that nobody feels any pressure whatsoever in purchasing anything. As they open everything up and as things get a little bit back to semi-normal, I hope that everybody is staying safe. Please practice your social distancing, wear your masks, wash your hands all of that stuff that is becoming our new normal. And I'm hoping that all of you are doing well and I will see you guys all in my very next video. Love you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.